Hi everyone, John from techyreview.com here. Today we're going to do a quick how-to video. Now I've had a few questions recently about how to reset your Surface tablet back to its factory settings because you're either going to sell it or you want to start again. So I thought I'd do a quick how-to um, just to show you how simple this process actually is. Now first thing you want to do is make sure you've got a full full charge or nearly full charge on your battery and that it's also connected uh, to the mains. So once you've done, make sure that's happened, we need to log in. And then from our desktop, if we slide in from the right hand side and we want to go to settings, you'll see that just near the bottom. And then from there, right at the very bottom, we want to change PC settings. When this loads up, right at the bottom of the PC settings, you'll notice update and recovery. Now if you select that, that will then give you a further few options. You can choose Windows Update, File History or Recover. Obviously for, for this video we want to have a quick look at the recovery. Now in there again we've got some we've got some more options here. You can choose to refresh the PC without affecting any files. You can remove everything and reinstall Windows or you can do an advanced startup. Now for this particular how-to video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove everything and reinstall Windows. And essentially what this will do, it will take all your personal data off and then reinstall Windows. So if you're looking to sell sell your Surface or you're gonna pass it on to somebody else or you just wanna start, start again from afresh, that's the option we need. So what we do is we select get started. And now what this is, it's gonna give you a little bit of info and it says here's what's going to happen all your personal files applications will be removed your pc settings will be restored to their default so before you do this you need to make sure anything you want to say anyone you want to keep you need to remove put onto a usb stick or copy somewhere else because if you haven't you will lose it once you've made sure that everything's off if we select next on our next screen we have two options just remove my files this is if you're going to keep your PC. If you're going to keep it, then fine, you can select the option, it can be a lot quicker. But if you're looking to pass it on, sell it, anything like that, what you want to do is actually clean your drive, so none of your personal data on there. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select this one. Now, and then reset. Now this is going to take a while. So what I'll do is I'll let that carry on. And when that's done, I'll be back and we'll finish up. Now that's complete, we can continue with the setup. Now this is going to be the setup exactly like when you first bought it. Um, so you need to enter in some information about your location. So United Kingdom, English, United Kingdom, etc. So that's all correct. I click next. Accept the license. And then we get into the personalization. So we'll just keep these fairly simple. Okay. We can select our Wi Fi. Let me get to the to the settings. So I'm just going to use the express settings. These tend to be fairly standard for what most people want to use. And then we're going to sign in to your Windows account with your Outlook or Hotmail account. Okay, so the next thing it's actually going to do is ask to verify that this is our account. Um, two ways you can do this. You can either have it done to an email address or you can have it done to a mobile phone. And in this case, I'm going to do it to a mobile. And what I should get shortly is a text message with a couple of, uh, with a couple of numbers in it, which I have to type in that box below. Now that can take a few minutes to come through, so what I'm going to do is I, will, I can't do this at this time and we will just skip on. You can actually do that verification a little bit later. Once done, you'll have a nice fresh installation of your Windows 8 or 8.1. Okay, Windows 8.1 has now been fully reinstalled 
and I'm basically ready to go with a fresh copy of Windows 8.1. Now, if you were looking to sell your Surface tablet, what you would have done is a few stages back um, where it asks you for your location information, you would stop at that point and you could power it off. Uh, basically any personal information would have been wiped at that point. Um, so you could, you're good to go in, you know, hand it over, sell it or whatever. Um, what I've done is I've continued and I've logged back in and then I can continue setting this up as a brand new uh, service tablet if I so wish. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you've got any questions, any comments, please feel free to uh, leave them below. Um, please uh, remember to uh, like the video and if you want to see more how-to videos, please subscribe to be notified of our next one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.